So our goal is to fly the Saber Raven. So if you haven't heard of the Saber Raven, it is part of the Saber series, and you've probably seen the Saber, the Saber Comet, and the Saber, uh, just the regular Saber and Saber Comet. So this is what the Saber looks like. So the Saber is this ship. You know, it looks like that. The Saber Comet it's kind is... kind of like a Buccaneer. Oh, no. That's the Buccaneer. The Saber Comet is exactly the same. It just has like a camo kind of pattern on it. If you compare it to what else you can get, like the arrow, the gladius, the blade, you're not going to stand a chance in a Saber. So the Saber Raven is different. Like style and everything it's totally different it's got all this blue oh, wow. on it like i love the way it looks this is one of the things one of the ships that that pulled me towards this game i did ev eventually learn that i'll probably never get my hands on one of these ships because the only way to get this ship is to get a uh, code that comes with the intel octane and i think it's specifically the 980 and that came out years ago but you had to get one of those to get this ship. And so not a lot of people really got the Optane. And most people that did didn't play Star Citizen. So they trashed their codes. Sucks to be them because they are worth about $2,000 now. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. So a uh, friend of ours in the org uh, has come across this ship. And so now we're going to try to get in and fly this puppy and see what we can do. Yeah, I'm, I've, uh, this is one of those ships I've been curious about and wanting to fly ever since I heard about it. It does have pretty decent uh, pitch, but it still doesn't compare to anything else. Oh, it's got an EMP. Didn't know it had an EMP. Okay. Yeah, DPS is not that great. Uh, uh, shields are... Mm, I mean, that's all right. I mean, it's two size ones. I mean, that, that's essentially a small fighter. Welcome to the ASOC Vehicle Retrieval System. Saber Raven. Your vehicle has been there delivered to the following location. And you're five. Let's go see the Raven. Like there's like areas of, of the your HUD and everything where it was just like a solid color. I don't think they've really done much to fix any of that. Ooh, it's so flat. Yeah, it is. That's a good looking ship though. Yeah, it is. It's okay. it's Very aerodynamic. From the front here. I like the looks here. Let's see. Are there any panels anywhere? I'm I'm thinking there's probably not gonna be panels anywhere on this ship. Um pilot seat ladder and, and a beam. And I, I kind of feel like they're probably not gonna do a lot of updates either to this ship in the future oh look at how they did the guns that's kind of neat yeah inside the wing yeah i kind of feel like they're not going to do many updates on this in the future either uh and that's just because they have like an agreement with intel on this ship that they can only sell i mean it gives intel that exclusivity to to this ship you have to have that octane look at that storage only but we can't get into it there's three of them oh yeah yeah that would be that that hey, would be actually they'd open cool that up there. or something yeah yeah that's that's kind of the thing though because of that exclusivity and not being sold anymore so people can't really get it anymore there's so few of these i i wouldn't doubt it if there is less than 20 of these in the game period i mean no, of the people who still play anyway, I would I wouldn't doubt it if there's just next to nothing for these ships, which is why they cost so much. It's also why you yeah. never see them. Uh, but yeah, let's let's get in. Let's get in. Right, open the canopy. Let's see what that looks like. All right, all right. Let's get into the pilot seat. Interesting.
Yeah, so this right here is kind of what I was talking about, how there's like no texture on it. Oh, yeah. Turn that off and kind of look around like this. So we got light ready. That's kind of weird. Not what I'm trying to do. Here we go. Press to unlock, all the same stuff there. No buttons over here. Uh, ejection, I do not want to eject. I don't think it'll let me in a hangar, but <laughs> don't want to try either. Don't want to test that. Uh, all right, let's, uh, let's turn it on. You know what? I think they have done some updates. Didn't really think they would. Quantum interdiction already? Alright, well I guess we're gonna Well there may be a wreck ahead. The oh that capabilities yeah. of these right away. Oh it, it, we've already got the Panthers on here. So we're already partially updated, or maybe fully updated. Second guy. He didn't. He was white though. Oh, did he just shoot? Me? He's in a stalker. Boom. Ooh, yeah, he's shooting at him too. He almost shot me. Let's take a better look at this ship. I don't see a crime stat anywhere. Yeah, me neither. I don't think I got one. Which is preferred. There she is. Turn all that stuff off. I love all the blue on it. They should have made the interior blue too. Yeah, well, I mean, they kind of did, but not a lot. Those are intakes. Oh, yeah, that blue is the step. same as what's in your uh, on your dash. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think this ship's going to have any panels at all to open. None at all. Kind of looks like. Kind of looks like a diving board. On the end of this. There's area. no step though. Well, yeah, you probably wouldn't want to dive off of it, but it, it kind of looks like a diving board. Whoa. Look at that number thirty-six. Is that what that is? Yeah. You know, I think they probably should have done the glass. It's kind of like a blue tinted glass instead of yellow. Yeah. Would have been nice too. Underneath. We already saw the three storage bins over here. Oh, too fast. All right. Wait, where did they go? Are they back here? Yeah, there they are. It's got three storage bins, but they they are not functional. Such a pretty ship. Oh, wait, why are they purple? Oh, that's wow. kind of cool. Oh, wait, I wonder if that's a glitch. Take your panels and cram them. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I wonder if that's some kind of some kind of glitch something that they didn't fix i actually really like that purple look though that's kind of cool 
They should keep that instead of white. It's only those back three lights. Or are those yeah. lights or are they uh, thrusters? No, the, I think those are lights. I mean, they look just like the other ones. Yeah. Let's go back again. I'm wondering if it was just that angle. No, it's all the way around. So from a distance, those lights are purple. But when you get close enough, they change. Maybe they're kind of like the lights on a uh, the old Ford pickups. Wasn't it Ford pickups that had those round with a little jewel in the middle and it would create like a purple light? Oh, yeah, yeah. I think they had that. There's a lot of them actually have that now. Let's do... I think this is probably one of the better looking ships in the game. Um... Wait, don't I just... What size are the guns on? Uh, they are size one, or threes, they're size threes. Mm. But it doesn't have a very big uh, DPS rating on it. And I think that's because it has EMPs. So let's power up those EMPs here, shall we? I think it's funny how you left click to pick these options in here. But left click is also what shoots your guns, and so you end up shooting every time you click a button. We are. Powering up that EMP. Did it just make me turn? <laughs> Wait a second. Oh, I probably it was my mouse, I think. All right, look at that. That looks kind of cool. Little lightning bolts shooting everywhere. Then if I shoot it. Yeah, I broadcast it. Yeah, that's cool. But that's only, what, what's the range for your EMP? Like 20 meters or something? Um, I think it's, I think it's, uh, I want to say on like the Vanguard Sentinel, it's like 500. Like you can successfully you get someone close. within 500. Yeah, no, 500 is, <clears throat> is pretty close. I mean, you can make out a lot of detail on a ship at, at 500. <clears throat> uh, look at that though. One of them is off and then the other one is on but it's also not powering up it powered off I wonder if it did that on purpose well no because it's still not going Oh wait, 
Is it going? Ah. Thank God. That was terrible. That was not, that was not good. I'm not using that EMP anymore. That's not good at all. All right. Wow, that was, Welcome. that was bad. That was, that was bad. That was loud. All right, let's bring this guy back out again. I fucked up, I fucked up. Go forward, oh my God. I can't believe I didn't hit anything. Phew. <laughs> I fucked up. <laughs> ah. Uh, go pull your ship out. Let's go over to Orson. It's probably. Man, that ship looked... doesn't have any marks on it though, it doesn't look like. Saber Raven. Alright. Buy an Atlas Drive. Done. That the only thing you lose is your your uh your ammo and your sustenance. Really? That's not that bad. Yeah. And there's one other thing, but I don't remember what it is. All right, got the Atlas hey, on. And progress. No, I'll kill myself. The girl character they make the girl characters make kind of a nice little noise when they die. <laughs> if I was Fucking eight again, loop it. Loop it. <laughs> If I was eight years old again, I would record it and put that into an editor and, and I would loop it. I'd make it play a bunch of times. <laughs> Air Force. Thank you. Some of the uh, some of the ships have wheels on them. I think the 100i has wheels, or the 300i, whatever. Last call for passengers. I guess it was just a little glitch. Last I gotta pay attention to those. Uh, the is preparing to then uh, you playing some carnival games? <laughs> yeah, up and up. And Finally, all right. Um, no, I think I'm all right. Did you say or a plushie? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm good. Quantum is good. All right. We are set. I really, I really want this ship. I think I want this ship more for the looks. I'm going to head over to Jump Town. Okay, so see this screen or this uh, this green building. I don't think I really need much. I mean, I could probably just do this without. And yeah, I'm just going to head over there. I don't need. I don't have missiles. My hydrogen's pretty much fuel full. I'll just head over there because I'm probably going to die. If people are there, they're probably going to take me out before I can take them out. I don't want to get too slow because there could be uh, there could be some other things here.
Divine Zamasu. That must be somebody that watches Dragon Ball. There we go. That's the button I was looking for. three of them. There are three guys in there. They got three people. I really don't want to fight that Corsair. That wouldn't be fun. And here goes this guy. He's in a cutlass black. Stack and go to jail. I'm only gonna attack those if they attack me. Right here. Are they having issues? Dragging that dude out. Look, there's another guy. That'd be insane if they had no idea I was here. I doubt that's the case. Look at this guy. He's just standing there. You know, it's possible that they don't know I'm here because sometimes ships are invisible. Although I'm pretty sure they see me. Look at how close I'm getting to this guy. <laughs> Can I touch him? Boop. Fire and see if it's still working. <laughs> oh, it said he joined. He didn't join. He can't. Well, I know who that guy is now. Hello, gentlemen. Holy shit. Shooting me. <laughs> They're like, get out. <laughs> spot of theirs back here.
he's got missiles coming in at him. He's probably gonna try to claw him out here in a second. They left their tailgate open. Ship looks fine. I mean, it looks beat up on the outside, but it's not. All right, Let's see if I can get one more guy. What is that over there? Oh, there's someone up here. about this though is this a wreck oh yeah that is what i was seeing it was it's just wrecked got into a bit of a scuffle here i won i was wait i was wasting that guy anyway i mean he was red everywhere i don't like it when they hit the floor i don't like to win like that 
The Saber Raven is a glorious but unfinished masterpiece by Aegis. The ship has an impressive low profile and two EMPs instead of the usual single EMP that most interdiction ships have. Even with an impressively low profile, this ship is not a capable fighter and is instead intended to be a support ship. With less than adequate DPS and EMPs instead of missiles, this ship is going to have an even harder time in PvP than its lackluster brothers, the Saber and the Saber Comet. Size and maneuverability match that of a medium fighter, however, this ship is intended to be an intelligence gatherer with dual EMPs as an added bonus. It's listed to have data storage for intelligence missions, but these aren't implemented yet, thus slotting this ship into its current role of interdiction just like the Mantis and the relatively new Scorpius Antares. There are two very profound bugs that come with this ship. The first one is out of the two available EMPs, only one powers up. In my testing, I believe they're both working and the bug is simply a display error showing it's off when it's actually on. The second is maybe the most deafening bug I've ever experienced in a game. Sometimes, when using the EMP, it will be in making an unbearable noise, which you may have heard if you watched this video. How do you stop it? Self-destruct. Once you wake up in a hospital bed, the sound of tranquility will ring true in your ears and you'll suddenly feel as though you've been lifted into paradise. Just for a moment, anyway. A couple interesting facts about this ship are that the color scheme is based on Intel's logo and the intended role of the ship is based on the name Intel. The ship is not available in the pledge store or for purchase in the game. To get this ship, you must have purchased the Intel Optane 900P SSD at the end of 2017 for well over 300 US dollars. This would have provided you a code that you would redeem to get this ship. As of the day I made this video, you can still get these ships by purchasing an account on eBay or from other black market sellers who have redeemed the code for the ship on their accounts. The going price, 2000 US dollars, and that's about the cheapest you'll find them. This ship is fun for smaller PvE missions, it's amazing to look at, and it's fun to cruise around in. PvP must definitely be avoided in the Saber Raven. All light fighters will out DPS and outmaneuver you, and they also have missiles. However, if you are very skilled, you might be able to knock down some shields with some skillful reverse flying then hit them with your dual MPs and take them out. But that would almost certainly require you to get the jump on them, not the other way around. Overall, no matter how badly you want the Saber Raven, I would say steer clear. It's not worth anything anywhere near the $2,000 mark and surely in the future, something much cooler will be released and you'll forget about the Saber Raven. But until then, buy an arrow or a Gladius or a blade. Thank me later. My name is Mike. Look for our Discord links and Twitch stream schedule in the description. And thank you for watching Casual Gaming.